The COVID Informatics team is a dedicated, motivated, tireless group of researchers, data scientists, engineers, and clinicians from around Mount Sinai who have been working to solve problems in healthcare for decades and have mobilized as a single force to combat the COVID-19 crisis. A lot of the group have been working 16, 17 hour days and trying to come together to fight this war in order to fight the deadliest pandemic that most of us have known in our lifetimes. Data science is a key discipline that has to be used to fight COVID. The goal for this team is to put out meaningful and relevant data that can inform how we should manage this disease, contain this disease, and as we start to see a flattening of this curve, prevent it from happening again. We were able to get an infrastructure set up to integrate data across the health system. We become a resource for clinicians and researchers around Mount Sinai who need an answer within 24 hours to a question that could impact how they treat their patients. I think scientists from different areas all have unique ways of thinking about things. So if you give a problem to a geneticist, they'll think about it one way. If you give a problem to a psychiatrist, they might think about it another way. And this is always why it's so important to have these broad, diverse, collaborative teams. I love the passion. I love the energy. I love the intellect. And I also love the way that we all assembled here because we care about making a difference during this moment of crisis. The primary question that we are asking right now is can we develop accurate predictive models to see which patients will do better or will do worse once they are admitted to the hospital and see if this patient is at a high or a low probability for transfer to the ICU or, or mortality. Some people are symptomatic, some people are asymptomatic. Some people have different manifestations in different organ systems. There's so much that is not known that we have to take into account data from multiple different sources. I am a heart failure and transplant doc, and I really was very keen on trying to better understand which patients affected with COVID-19 had cardiac involvement. And I can bring that clinical perspective to helping us understand the data. As a clinician and as a trained computer scientist, I sort of have all the pieces in my head to translate between the different groups that exist to help deploy machine learning models within the hospital. We want to understand what happened, to plan for what happens next, to get models and predictions over the fence into the hospital and help make decisions. We launched a study called the, the Warrior Watch. We'll be following over 200 healthcare workers to try to monitor physiological measures such as heart rate variability, sleep disruption, and activity to understand better the level of anxiety and stress they are faced with. Thinking back over the past month, I am blown away how much was accomplished. The dedication of everyone involved is something that I have not experienced before. Most of my colleagues felt a, a burst of invigoration that, you know, this is what you've been trained for to help solve a public health crisis. We're trying to, in some very real sense, save the city. We're going to not only help our ability to combat COVID in the immediate future, but also open up a whole new window into how we can treat patients better across the spectrum of human disease. I am truly honored to be working at Mount Sinai. We have this beautiful opportunity to build something that nobody has really ever seen before.